West Way. I'm the urogynecology nurse practitioner at Continence for the Darling Down Health Service. I've now been working here for uh, around 20 years and been in this role for about 10 years. I've had a diverse and interesting career journey. I started in midwifery, moving through child health, and then uh, developed skills in continence and was fortunate enough to then meet up with a consultant who had the same values and skill sets that I had. And this all resonated with me. And so then we moved into developing this new service. Many women throughout their lifespan will experience some problems with their bladder, bowel and pelvic floor. And the women who have had children and obstetric intervention, women who've got diabetes, other neurological conditions, who work on farms and do a lot of heavy lifting or have had chronic bowel problems and straining throughout their life, will be at risk of pelvic organ prolapse. And one in three of those women will experience urinary incontinence in their lifespan. So it's really important to have a service for rural women locally so that they're able to obtain early intervention and to obtain early conservative management to avoid a tertiary intervention, which would be surgery. So a service like uh, urogynecology nurse practitioner, these women are able to have that conservative therapies and able to have continuity of care without having to experience different doctors uh, constantly streaming through, through the flying obstetrician gynecology program uh, in different um, outlets throughout the district. It's been quite incredible. We've had many women that now regularly see the same nursing consultant uh, when they come in. And so they're not seeing a different consultant every time they come to the service as there's a lot of continuity of care. Uh, the consultants now have reduced their pelvic organ prolapse appointments by 400 appointments per year because they're coming into a nursing service. The nurse cystoscopist program, initially just with one session a morning, saved $173,000 in surgical costs because it's now run as an outpatient nursing cystoscopist program. And the quality of life for many of these women has improved dramatically. And so they're less likely to be returning to the services later on in life with any of their bladder, bowel, pelvic floor and sexual dysfunctioning problems. Initially, when you're considering a new model of care, you need to do considerable, considerable benchmarking with other services. And in Australia, uh, it sometimes there's limitations with especially niche services like urogynecology. So I reached out to the United Kingdom where those services have been in place for many decades and benchmarked with those services and sought advice from those nurses. And you can also consider what your model of care would look like. You need to actually consider the financial constraints and then look at your business planning profile and de develop your business case. Because often with new positions, there is no initial funding. You have to develop and canvas what you're going to do. And you need to look at what the clinical outcomes are going to be. It's not impossible to start from scratch and then hope that you would gain a position but it does require a lot more work than going into an existing position. Always maintain your passion, always develop connectedness with consultants because they will need to mentor you and develop your uh, relationships with other services. To be a Trailblazer finalist is, is quite a significant moment for me because I actually didn't nominate myself. I was nominated by the Director of Nursing. So I feel very privileged that she felt the, uh, how important my role was and what we had achieved in the role to nominate me. But also it reflects upon our peak nursing organisation, the Continents Foundation of Australia, the Continents Nurses Society, and also the hospital that I work with, the Darling Downs Health Service. In, in the, the support that I have gained over the years from those services, uh, without those services, I don't know that I would be able to have obtained uh, the success I have for the women that I represent. And it is just hopefully uh, an enormous step that I would be able to then move forward and do a, a, a lot more public speaking to gain more interest in this area, but also to promote the health for women. It's, it's not an area that's easy to talk about for many people, but the more knowledge and uh, understanding that a woman has, the more likely it is that she's actually able to move forward with the management plan for life.